This is a crazy game mechanic by Matt Stark. And this is my recreation of the same mechanic. This video, we're gonna talk about how I made it happen. <laughs> As a starter, we need to take a look at how the game works. You take a picture, you place the picture somewhere in the game, and then it turns into reality. But wait a moment. The key point here is finding a Wii U. And in this moment, we're not just taking a picture. We're recording the geometry of the meshes. The photograph is a 2D picture, but this one here is 3D. Another key thing is that when turning the picture into reality, the new reality looks exactly like the picture. And that means we need to recreate the new reality based on how a camera works. A camera looks at what's in this pyramid that's in front of it and it squashes all that containing into a 2D image. So the first step would be finding out the math to construct this pyramid. As a starter, I'm trying to find out the borders of it. But that is just not enough because a camera can move and it can rotate and the borders must follow. Now that we know the math behind the borders of the camera pyramid, we need to turn it into something useful. Something like four different planes that specify this pyramid. Planes are much easier to work with. This is really easy as we know the rotation of the different borders of the camera pyramid. We just spawn a couple of planes and rotate them accordingly. And now we have our pyramid as a bunch of planes. Look at this object in the camera view. We can tell our math is correct because the plane is cutting the object where the camera view cuts the object. Now, using some simple linear algebra, we determine the point in which the object has to be cut. We also have the normal of the cut plane. So every time anybody takes a picture, we cut the objects that are intersecting with our planes. Then we just keep a copy of the appropriate part of the object for later. A very important part of this game mechanic is taking a picture. So I'm gonna render what the camera sees into a texture and at the right time I'm gonna take a snapshot of it. This itself can be turned into a crazy game mechanic one day. As you can see, the photograph reacts to different lighting, which is a bad thing. We can fix this by turning the shader into an unlit one. It all feels better when we let the player walk around. Whoa, 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 whoa! Well, that kind of happens sometime. Before putting together all the different parts, we kind of need a test scene. So a player walks up to an object and presses space. At this moment, we take a snapshot of the camera output and we place it in the starting plane of the camera pyramid in a way that the player doesn't notice. Then the picture gets scaled down and when the player hits space again, we reverse the process. And right when the picture hits full screen, we replace anything that is in the camera pyramid with the objects that were cut before by the camera pyramid. The key here is that all this is happening behind the picture that is being held in front of the player's eyes. And then we disappear the picture. You can create freaky shit when you know your math, bruh. Just study your math. Just, just study it. It's, math is, math is crazy important when making a game. It's like it's, people say it's overrated. Fuck the people who say math is overrated. Math is everything. If you know your fucking math, you can create fucking crazy shit, bro. Just fucking believe me. Subscribe, please.